Jason, what do you mean Emily died? I, I heard Vicar screaming Emily's name. I went to the ballroom and, and he was holding her. She, she wasn't moving. And I tried to take her away, but Nicholas wouldn't let go, but it didn't matter because that, Emily was already gone at that point. Jason, she probably, she's in shock. Was she she's got, unconscious. She was she's strangled, not dead. Elizabeth. She's not breathing. There's no pulse. She's... No. No. Look, if you, if you can't handle this, Nadine, will you, will you help us, please? Uh, absolutely. Whatever you need. Uh, I'll stay here with you. What about Nicholas? Did, does Zakara hurt him? No, Nicholas won't let go of Emily. Carly thinks he needs to be sedated. I can, I can find something here. Uh, are, are you sure you don't want me to do it? No, I'll do it. Let me take care of Nicholas. Emily would want me to. Nice shot! Now it's my turn! Show yourself! Let's see if I miss! You've been a prisoner your whole life. I'd be free if I killed him. If I walked into that room years ago and pulled the trigger, a lot of innocent people would still be alive. But you pulled the trigger tonight? But even then, part of me was relieved when that gun wasn't loaded. Because no matter what my father does, is it right to kill someone for being insane? Does he ever come out of it? Is he ever normal? He used to be. Part of the time. Who knows if he'd gotten help years ago, but he's beyond help. My mother's in a mental hospital. She stares out a window all day and she doesn't talk, and the doctors don't think she can hear anything either. I don't know. But she recovered for a little while thanks to this experimental drug. It didn't last, but I can't help hoping that she'll come back. She'll be my mom, even if it's for a short time. So I understand. You'll always want your dad, but... Of course. What are you doing here? What are you looking for your father, huh? If you're truly concerned that you'll end up like Anthony Descar, why don't you just retire? I tried years ago. I disappeared on my wedding day. Left my bride at the altar. Broke her heart to protect her from the violence that surrounds me, so I went, hid out in an island in the Caribbean. And I dragged myself to oblivion, waiting for my enemies to show up. So leaving the business isn't an option? <laughs> it's what I do, you know? I'm as ambitious now as I ever was, and where I am now, I, I'm a lot further than I ever imagined I would be. Sonny, did it ever occur to you that you might be just as successful legally? I like what I do. I mean, you know, I know it's wrong, but I'm willing to, you know, do everything I can to get what I want, and I, I do everything in my heart to protect the people who are around me. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to stop. I, I don't, it, it, Whatever it costs. Just for the record, should you ever decide that it's too dangerous for us to be together, I would prefer that you just told me instead of breaking my heart for my own good. Whoa. Can you carry her over here? I don't think he's gonna let her go. Nicholas, mm. can Jax help you carry Emily over to the bench? 
Oh, no, thanks. We're fine. We're fine. She's just resting right now. We're, we're okay. What happened, Nicholas? Hmm? How'd you get that bruise on your face? You know, she wanted to cancel the ball. Or at, well, at least, at least postpone it. Because... Because I, I haven't re really been feeling that well, you know? And she was really concerned about that. But... But I insisted. I insisted. I just wanted to make you happy. That's, that's all I really wanted, baby. Okay. It's time for you to wake up now. Will you please? Will you please just wake up for me now? Okay. He's not gonna let her go. Will you please just wake up for me now? I promised. And I will love you forever. something to help you wake up, see? She can help you. Thank you. I need to check on Jerry. He's pretty badly hurt. I want to come with you. No, no, you stay here. You're safe. I almost lost you once tonight after Probably. things happened. I want to stay with you. for me to help Emily if you let go of her, okay? No, no, no. As long as she's here with me like this, it'll be okay. She'll be okay. All right? She'll be all right. Just please. What is it? It's a horse tranquilizer. We gotta, we gotta do something. I'm gonna need your help, okay? stabbed me two weeks ago and I think the wounds reopened and I also think I'm bleeding entirely. Why are you walking around? Well, Anthony Zakar came after me in the entryway and I shot at him. But I ran out of ammunition, which is quite embarrassing. And Anthony seemed to be enjoying himself very much. How can we help you? You can leave. When I eluded Anthony Zakara, I'm clearly not at the top of my game, and he might show up, or he might be going down to the ballroom to admire his handiwork. What does that mean? Well, I was with Jackson, Carly, and Jason, of all people, and we heard Nicholas scream Emily's name all the way from the ballroom. They left, and they didn't return, which makes me believe that Emily's a very, in a very bad way.
Did you stop my father? Did you save us all? Why, are you worried about your daddy? The plan was for you to protect Lulu. Yeah, well, plan on us. You can take off now, all right? Okay, look, I get that you guys hate each other, and, and I don't blame you, but I've learned a lot tonight, especially about who I can trust, and that's you, Logan, but that's also Johnny. So from now on, I'll, I'll play this your way. I'll do whatever you want. Did you know Emily very well? Well, I am a devoted sister. We had a passing acquaintance, but Emily was deeply loved by Stone Cold. I'm sure. Do not be deceived by his uncaring manner. Stone Cold is grieving for his lost little sister. God, one of the first things they teach you in medicine is to detach, or at least put your feelings on hold until you finish the job. Well, that is the Stone Cold way. But a precious life has been taken tonight, and Stone Cold will not rest until Emily's killer is hunted down. Don't take this the wrong way. You seem like such a smart and compassionate and totally amazing guy. How could I take such a welcome compliment in the wrong way? I just don't understand how vengeance dude Jason can be your best friend. Jerry? Careful, it could be a ruse. He's gone. Zakaro, the gunman must have come through here. That's the shots we heard. Jerry was in no condition to fight anyone off. I should never have left him. If Jerry were killed, his body would still be here. And if he were in that bad of shape, he wouldn't be able to get very far. What are you saying, that he wasn't really hurt? It's possible. What if he were milking it, why, Jack? Why would he do that? Why do you think? So he could ditch me and go after Zakara on his own. Of course. Well. Maybe Jerry found Zakara after all. <laughs> We're going on the bomb. No, you should go, Sonny. I'm gonna no, stay with Jerry. Completely, that's completely unnecessary. <laughs> I can't leave him like this. But of course you can go. You're not gonna be safe here. Jerry has a gun. I'll protect her. Okay, listen. Emily's important to me and to my children, and if there's anything I can do for her, but I don't want to leave you I here understand. like this. I understand. Just... I understand. Okay, you, you, you be careful. I will. Just go. Fine. Wow. Your courage and compassion are most impressive. But I'm afraid it's wasted on me. And why is that? Because for one thing, I don't deserve it. And secondly, I'll almost certainly take advantage of you before the night is over. Jesus, help me, please! Come on. We're gonna go sit down in that chair over there, okay? You'll be more comfortable. She's dead. 